everyone <laughs> if i tell you where i'm doing this video now voila you won't believe me but anyway what needs to be done needs to be done and i need to put out a video at 2 p.m remember i do three longer uploads now and just discuss issues more in depth you know that's that's the new arrangement in the channel now i did talk to a lot of you and you did say that was going to that was going to be much better and i've seen the fact that you know there's been more positive uh, reaction towards all of that but anyway what am i going to talk about this you know i've said this thing before sometimes people will say that oh these people i should leave them alone i'm giving them water water and all of that but it's so annoying that every time they continue to do things that just make one so angry please don't mind if the camera is shaking i'm actually holding the camera i don't have my stand i'm not at home i'm somewhere else but i will do a shot to actually show you where i did this particular video but is this shetima there is something so vile about that uh that person you, you know there's something about him, the arrogance, the, the way he talks down on people, the way he does his thing. It's 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 so it's just something else and you you don't want to focus on that because not normally you don't want to focus on a person, you want to focus but there's no way you can you know dis, di, distinguish between the art and the person who is actually doing the art. So uh, uh, the, uh, here is punch. It says federal government blames opposition for food crisis, uncovers 32 smuggling uh, routes. <laughs> federal government wants to blame everybody except themselves. Want to blame everyone and everything. They are not taking responsibility for the fact that they are failing. They are not only failing, they are wasting money, people's money. How do you rig yourself into office and be such a abysmal failure that you're failing more than Bihari in less than six months? You've turned into this amazing uh, failure. But of course, they forget that propaganda you can't use propaganda to win election. It's not something, you know, that, it's, uh, uh, that, that can be done. And for you to be able to do anything, you have to have the right policies, you have to have the right mindset, you have to have the right people around you, you have to care for the people. There's no one that can govern anyone effectively without actually uh, caring uh, for the people. So looking at uh, this thing here right now, the, in the point it says, the federal government has blamed opposition elements for the food crisis currently ravaging the country. Why they didn't know that there was going to be a food crisis? There was a, a candidate, the person that Nigerians actually voted for, Mr. Peter Obi, who right from day one told us the issues that were on ground, the fact that Nigeria had no money again, the fact that we, we needed to work on food security, the fact that a lot of our farmers had been driven away from their farms and uh, the insecurity had rendered farms to no longer be accessible to farmers and the effect this would have on the nation. These are things that he definitely talked about, told Nigerians about, and also constantly wherever Mr. Peter Obi went, he did talk about the fact that the northern part of the country was where the wealth of the nation was and he was ready to unlock that nation by ensuring that the arable lands that we have in the northern part of the country were actually utilized and used for farming in such a way that Nigeria would be able to not only feed yourself but also to feed uh, uh, the rest of Africa and possibly uh, the world. These are things we saw, you know, how it went Went on and Nigerians did vote uh, vote for Mr. Peter Abu. Yes, there of a particular region that didn't didn't want to vote, voted for, and they are not crying now. The majority of Nigerians voted for uh, Mr. Peter Abu. And at the end of the day, those who did not win the election were the ones who rigged their ways into office. And they are the people right now who are constantly focused on opposition instead of focused on the governance that is told. I think someone needs to tell Kashim Shatima that he needs to focus on governance. She has, they've stolen it now. They've rigged the election and they've entered office. They should go ahead and do the needful. Use it to make the lives of the people better. It doesn't make sense you rigging your way into office and just using it for blame game. If you wanted to be doing blame game, then you should have stayed uh, on the outside and maybe uh, be an actor 
activists and just and, and be pointing out things that were wrong. He's in there, in there to solve it. And if they have the machineries of the state and they believe that, oh, someone else is causing the problem and they with all the machineries of the state are unable to fix the problem. And I think they should just tell themselves that both of them have no business being in a place where they had rigged an uh, office to, to be in. Just looking at uh, this thing, he went on to say, uh, this came as the, the government is talking about 32 smuggling routes. Are we not saying that we want to export things? Why, are, why is it not to, turned into smuggling? What farmers, why instead of them, you know, trying to look at those routes and stop them, why can't they ensure that farmers have the capacity to go into farms and farm more and do a whole lot of other things? Why are you trying to stop them? You can't, uh, you're not supposed to do that. But anyway, let me go back to what Shetima has said. Speaking on Tuesday in Abuja, during the inaugural Public Wealth Management Conference organized by the Ministry of Finance, Incorporated, uh, Tinibu, who was represented by Kashim Shatima, said, forces are hell-bent on plunging this country uh, into a state of anarchy, where they are the anarchy, honestly. Uh, those who could not get into power through the ballot box, instead of them to wait to 2027, he said, they are so desperate. So he's trying to project himself, his desperation, that their own desperation that got them to rig office and do whatever it is, to snatch it, to steal it, to run with it, to grab it and run with it. That's the mentality he's trying to project on other opposition leaders. And he thinks that, oh, that this is what they, they are going to do. And so he said, those who could not get into power through the ballot box, instead of them to wait till 2027, they are so desperate. If this country can fall apart as far as they're concerned, so be it. We are going to resist them. <laughs> Please face it. Go and face all the problems. Go and face your bad policies. Go and face your wastage. Go and face your refusal to cut down governors. Go and face the corruption and the looting that it's going on. Go and face the lives you've not been able to secure. Go and face the terrorists that are going after people and you've not been able to do that not only have you not been able to do it you've not even been able to empathize those are the things that Kashim Shatima should be facing and should, he should leave opposition alone opposition are not his business his business is to give the people that he stole their mandate a good life so that they will be able they will be saying things like oh okay since they've come in, since they are doing well, but this one that they are failing so badly, they should be ashamed of themselves. If Shatima had any altar of shame, eh, he would not have been coming out of his house. Because how do you feel more than Buhari? How? Ah, ah. If they don't tell them, eh, if nobody they tell them, they don't feel tell themselves. They don't feel sit down, look themselves, say, make them tell themselves, say, oh, oh, what they don't feel. So let him stop all that blame game and get and roll up his sleeves and get to work and not feeling that he is something that he is not. Because at the end of the day, propaganda is not what is used for governance. It's actually brains that are used for governance. Thank you. Bye.